all right so for manage quizzes first we need to have uh, create quiz functionality so for this if you go to our api data entities here we have this quiz in this we have id which will be auto generated then we want to have our name select the category provide total number of questions and time in minutes to complete that particular quiz if this quiz is active or not and then we are going to have list of questions inside that quiz then if you go to question here we have id which will again be auto generated uh, text which is actual question then quiz id which will be automatically mapped with that and then we are going to have couple of uh, multiple options for this particular question in option we are going to have id auto generated question id from the previous entity then text this is the actual option then if this is correct or not some uh, checkbox and yes so these are the things we need to create or update a quiz okay so let's go to shared project in shared i have this dto and here we are going to create a quiz save dto okay <clears throat> now here we are going to have all the the property which we need first thing we need a id and this is going to be checked for if this is the creation or updation which operation we are doing right now after that we are going to have a name this is going to be required with the max length of what we have in quiz that is 100 all right and let's copy these things category id total question time in minute and is active copy these and add here after that we are going to have these list of questions so let's do this let's create a new dto or maybe id is fine or not we need to create a separate DTO for question and then separate DTO for option. Okay. All right. So let's first create a DTO for this option. So we'll have text and is correct. And we should actually have ID as well. So here in quiz save DTO, here only outside of this, I'm going to have option DTO with ID. Question ID we don't need and text and is correct and text should be required. Okay, and after option, we are going to have a question DTO. Question DTO where we are going to have let's copy whatever we have in question. We need ID, yes, we need ID. We need text, yes, and this should also be required. Then quiz ID, we don't need this because we will add it as a part of this thing only. And looks like we are good. Now this question DTO, it is going to have a list of options. In here, we are going to have list of option dto options with a default value as empty list and in quiz save dto we are going to have a list of question dto's we'll call these questions and with the default value of empty list and looks like we are good now for this category id we need this category id this should be there so here we can say range it should start from zero uh, from one it should not be zero and upper level it could be anything but i'll just have this into dot max value if i want to like this only and here we can simply provide the error message that uh, category is required Total questions, 
it should also be like this start from one can go up to anywhere but this will not be integer to max value but to be safe we can have this okay it should be greater than one that is what we need okay so here we'll say number of questions please provide valid number of questions something like this please provide valid number of questions time in minutes it should also be something similar to this now this does not make sense to have into dot max value but still we just want to have something or maybe let i don't know let's have this thousand although this is very big amount of time big amount of minutes or maybe let's do this maybe let's restrict it to two hours or one hour something like that so maybe if we are saying two hours that means 120 minutes please provide valid time in minutes something like this and we are good with these here we are okay in options we are okay all right so looks like we are good with our with save dto now first thing we need to have uh, the server side part api side part ready for this in api services we are going to create a new service here let's say quiz service okay in here we'll inject our quiz context and then we'll create a public async task quiz api response save quiz async and here we are going to have a quiz save dto as an input all right now here first thing we'll check if this dto dot id is equals equals zero or no so this is what just to check if we are creating a new what happened oh this id is not equals guid dot empty if it is equals equals empty that means new quiz creation and if it goes to else updating existing quiz so these are the options we have right now all right so first when we are creating this quiz we need to have our option entity ready our questions entity ready and then our uh, quiz entity ready so let's start with questions so here we'll say questions equals <coughs> dto dot questions which is question dto dot select here we'll say new question this time question not dto this entity question and we'll generate this thing here So here we don't have any id because we are creating a new one so we will not have any id quiz id will be automatically assigned when we set these questions to the quiz so here we just need to have text q dot text and options now the options these will come from this question dt so here we'll say q dot options dot select here we'll say equals new option id is no will not be there so we'll have text and we'll have is correct that's all we are going to have here 
and this options is i collection so on this we need to have dot maybe two array and using this are questions entities are ready i numerable of questions now here we'll generate our quiz so new quiz entity we'll map this from our dtu so we'll have id will not be there so first thing category dtu dot category id then let's say is active dtu dot is active name dtu dot name then time in minutes then total questions and after that we are going to have our questions so these questions will be this questions object which we just generated and this is i enumerable and this is i collection okay so we can say two array now here our quiz entity is also ready okay after this we can simply say underscore context dot quizzes dot add quiz and this is all about creating a new quiz now let's go to the updating an existing quiz here first thing we need to get this quiz from database so db quiz equals here we'll say await context dot quizzes dot first or default async and here we'll say q equals q dot id equals equals dto dot id okay here we'll check if db quiz is null that means this does not exist we are trying to do some invalid operation from here we'll say quiz api response dot fail quiz does not exist all right now if that's not the case we need to modify all these things whatever we are allowing actually okay so here what we'll do we'll say db quiz dot category id equals dto dot category id then db quiz dot is active this name this then db quiz dot total questions after that db quiz dot time in minutes and then we need to set our questions so for this what we can do we can extract this questions collection out of this uh, if else because we are going to use this in added case as well here we will uh, let, let's have id as well although these are just ids uh, for added case it can there can be values for this so id id equals o dot id now we have these questions ready which we are using here and then same way we'll use this in here so db quiz dot questions equals this questions and we are good with this now do i have i always forget am i having disabling that no it will by default uh, track the changes if you want to explicitly set it then also you can do so what you can do you can simply say underscore context dot quizzes dot update db quiz although this is not required in this particular case because by default entity framework track the changes and here in this line it is actually tracking this db quiz whatever change i we are making it will work without this update quiz all right now after all these things i'm simply going to have a try catch and here i'll say await context dot save changes async 
and then return quiz api response dot success if it came to exception there is some error so here we'll say return quiz api response dot fail and here we can say simply ex dot message now we are good our save quiz async method is ready let's register this quiz service in our program dot cs in our dependency container so here we have this auth service category service after this we'll say add service or add transient quiz service all right now we need to create an api endpoint for this so we'll go to our endpoints folder and here we can simply create a new class in endpoints we can say quiz endpoints quiz and points and this is going to be public static class and then public static i endpoint route builder map quiz endpoints this i endpoint route builder and we'll name it app and we'll return this app now here let's create a quiz group equals app dot map group here we'll say api slash quiz or quizzes and on this we need authorization so require authorization quiz group and then let's define that method so here we'll say quiz group dot map post and here we are going to say we don't have to do add anything in the url out parameter api slash quiz is fine async and then we will need that quiz save dto from client quiz save dto from client and then we'll inject our quiz service so quiz service let's call it service only then from here we'll say return results dot okay then await and here we'll say await service dot save quiz async and detail now let's validate this before going here so here we'll say if dto dot uh, questions dot count is zero we will actually return results dot bad request questions or let's say please provide questions okay then we'll check if our dto dot questions dot count does not match dto dot number of questions total questions from here also all of these things we will do on client ui side as well but it's always a good idea to validate on uh, this mm, server side as well okay so and these these validation these are complex object validation so we need to have explicit logic for this if you can also use abstract well that uh, fluent validation for this that is also an option but i am not doing that here we'll say uh, total questions count does not match with provided question something like this if that's not the case if it passes both of these checks then it will simply go and create the quiz okay now we are good with this thing now we need this api in our ui side so we'll go to 
blazingquiz.web there in api we are going to create one more interface rapid interface so i quiz api okay and here we'll define that method so here we'll say task of quiz api response quiz api response save quiz async and we'll have quiz save dtu as a parameter and this is going to be a post request with the url out as slash api slash quiz and this should also be protected resource so we'll simply have this headers authorization bearer on this as well we'll add other methods when we'll need them but right now we are good with this now our api side and api access side of things are ready now we can uh, work on ui